Hi guys! Hope you guys are super excited for the new game mode, new map, and the new suit coming to Gundam Evolution Season 4. We were lucky enough to be able to participate in a playtest with a bunch of other Gundam Evo enthusiasts, so we were super excited. So we have been able to get a sneak peek that we're looking to share with all of you guys before the game officially updates on April 13th. We are going to be looking at... Um unlocking the suit for you guys. We're going to be looking at the cosmetics, the skins, and weapons. We're going to be looking at the deployment animation, MVP, and emotes. I'm super excited. Mm -hmm. Once we've actually taken a look at all of the cosmetic items, we're going to head over to the practice range, take a look at the mechanics and abilities, and then after we're done that, we're going to head into some actual gameplay, and we'll take a look at how the map, game mode, and suit all kind of come together mm -hmm. in a live match. So if you guys are looking for a particular part in this video, you can look down in the description at the timestamps, or along the bar you can look at the chapters and click along that. So if you guys are ready like we are, then we're gonna hop right into it. First we're gonna start with an unlock with our evil coins, and let's check out the initial animation. Simple but sweet. The full 360 view. He looks really cool even just as his base. I'm excited to see all of the skins for this uh, this guy. Deploy animations, really cool, even default. And then this one, ooh, so special. And we've got the emotes to oh, go the through. Emotes. Are you That's a what I'm excited Do you for. Emote in game? No, because I don't really know how to. <laughs> we'll Let's teach you. go. I love that. I love that. It's casual. Hey girl. Hey girl. <laughs> Taunt, is this going to be aggressive? Can we see a side nice. view? Nice, that's Rotate nice. a little bit. I that like looks that. really cool. Taking a look at some of the MVP animations that you'll see at the end of games. I don't, Ooh. I don't know if the suit flies. Soaring like an eagle. No mercy. That's nice, I like that. Taking a look at the weapon skins, All we're gonna skins. go through the legendary and the epic skins. We're not gonna go through all of them because there is quite a few here. Same thing with the unit skins, we'll go through the legendary and the epic, but we're not gonna <gasps> spoil some of the lower ones. That's really cool. It's they went unique. all out, yeah. I prefer the neon look though. Golden. I think Banishment's the one for me. Oh, I love That's that. That's so bright. That is cherry red. Into the training grounds we go. Let's take a look at some of these skills and abilities. Starting off, we've got an all range unit, HP at hate, 100, 1 dash, and 300 shield, with a difficulty of 3 out of 4 stars. The primary weapon is a GN sniper rifle, which gives you a pretty decent range. It is scoped. While you are scoped, you do have a shield that pops out in front of you. That's the 300 shield you see on the right hand side of the scope. Hitting for 680 critical, 340 body shot, and 255 on the arms and the legs. Wouldn't recommend no scoping. I move incredibly close before I can get off a single mm -hmm. shot. The secondary weapon is the GN beam pistols, which is more, I would say, medium range. F ability is a missile which pulls enemies in. Lastly, the long range repair. The Trans Am G maneuver uh, that allows players to charge the GN sniper rifle for additional damage. A fully charged GN sniper shot will do 900 damage. I wanted to real quick check if the shield, while it's recharging, if you can be hit and still block damage, but. No, you just take damage. Finally time for us to head into a live match, so let's see how this goes. The new, game Do -do. The new game mode is called Headquarters. Headquarters is essentially a two-part game mode. The first part, both teams contend over a target area near the middle of the map. Once the target area has been captured, we move on to phase two, where the team who won the target point becomes attacking team and the losers become the defending team. 
The attacking team needs to do damage and ideally completely destroy a core, target B, in the defender's base near the deployment area. Each round will have both these area capture phases, aka phase 1, and a core assault defense phase, aka phase 2. This game mode awards points for completing these objectives. One point is awarded to the team that captures the target area in phase 1, in phase 2, the attacking team can obtain two additional points, one for damaging the core to 50%, and a second additional point for destroying the core. This means the attacking team can gain a total of three points in a single round. The defending team can still score a point if objective B, the core, is not destroyed. The first team to five points is declared the winner. In a lot of these gameplay videos, you're going to see where I personally was hanging out most of the time while playing this suit. Gotcha! I wanted to hang back from the action a lot because the sniper scope works much better than the no scope, so I was too afraid to get up close for the action. Did discover that you can snipe from spawn though, so that, that was kind of rad. That's pretty handy actually. This is a closer look at that core, the objective B that Peanut was talking about. It's to my right here. It really stands out. You, you honestly bar. can't miss it. Can't miss it. Yeah. This ended up being my favorite sniping spot. I'm pretty sure most defender games, I was in this particular spot. You kind of rocked this spot. You got a lot of kills <laughs> all the time they, in a lot of these clips. There are essentially two ways into objective B. This being one hallway, which was just particularly long. It was kind of like shooting fish in a barrel, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like they just kept filing through. Dang. And I had a great view of objective B to my left. I can even see the other entry point where they're coming in on the far left. So you kind of got it all in this one particular spot. Kind of a humble brag. <laughs> I'm not, I really enjoyed playing a sniper, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I can tell. This is definitely a suit for me. Aside from my, my Methus main, this is gonna yeah. be, this is it. You could really hang back, get a v whole view of the entire room, like, yeah, you rocked it. Oh, and your alt? Tried out the G maneuver. Big fan. Nailed it. Unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> but all in all, I had a really good time with the suit. What I wish I did more, so lessons learned for you guys. Use your F ability when someone's hiding behind a wall, because you can launch it and pull them out from behind That's the wall. That's genius. Okay, that makes a lot of sense, so actually. So many times I was trying to big brain yeah. and get the hit, I mm -hmm. forgot that I can pull them out from behind the yeah. wall if they're trying to hide. I mean, that comes with time. Like right here? You yeah, could have used it right here out. for those heavy arms. I mean, you just gotta- You, you gotta get it anyways, Consistency. But. These are a couple close-up shots of what the new map looks like. So this is one of the spawn points. Objective A. Another side shot from Objective A. This is an elevated area. Great for sniping. This is, again, the top spawn point sniping area. Lots, lots of footage. Point lots A. Of foot Very this good. is called Buried City? Single shot, point B. Very nice. <laughs> this Fabulous. Is, I spent a lot of time on the upper ledge. You'll see the opposite team's dynamics is in that spot. This mm. is me going up to show you what that spot looks like. Okay, I see. For point A, those are the two key spots to hold, I find. Okay. They have a great vantage point. That's good to know. This is some footage of point B. This is what it looks like inside the room if you're trying to shoot that objective B. So it is pretty open if you go down. I didn't like to get caught in this area too much. I mm -hmm. liked being on the high ground here. Thank you guys so much for watching and we really hope you enjoyed. And we will see you guys in game for season four on April 13th. I'm just gonna leave this uh, right here.